Hello, my name is Ronald Foster, and this is Physics 1010 Module 4 Project. First, we'll put four pennies in a glass. One, two, three, four. Shake it. Release the pennies. We got two heads. So we'll keep repeating this experiment and recording our results until we also get one with zero heads. Okay, we got incredibly lucky. We actually, on our second try, got one with zero heads. So here's our final results for that table. For the next experiment, we'll do the same thing, but with 20 pennies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Shake it. We got we got 11 heads, and so we need to repeat that 50 times, and just to make that a lot easier on us, here is a simulation that will do 50 times all at once. So we have an array of 20 pennies on the table, because there's 21 possibilities. Here's their possibilities, zero heads, one head, two head, three head, four heads, five heads, ten heads, and so on, all the way up until 20 heads. So we'll run this experiment 50 times. Here is where we're flipping the coins, then we're seeing if they're heads. And placing it in that part of the table. You can see it's kind of crowding in the middle. So that, that is all 50 attempts. So using that data, let's answer some questions. What is the connection between probability and entropy? For example, what is a, more likely, a low entropy, entropy state or a higher entropy state? Um, high entropy seems to be more likely. Using the given data set, there's a likelihood of seeing a high entropy. Oh, sorry, I misunderstood the question. Low, just a quick correction here. I got this backwards. I, for some reason in my head, I was just thinking opposites. As you increase the system, a high entropy state becomes more likely. The smaller the system, the lower the entropy. But the more pennies I add, the more entropy I'm also adding. Be lucky. We literally got two on our It's not getting anywhere near this side. Our next question is, does the likelihood of seeing a high entropy state versus a low entropy state change if you increase the size of the system? More likely. Or that will give you an A in the class if you repeatedly toss 20 pennies and manage to get zero heads in a toss by the end of the semester, and an E if you didn't, would you take the deal? I think it would be fun to actually see if we should. Let's see about how long it takes us to do a shake. So counting one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. That's how long it took me to check out all the pennies and do the shake. So let's see if twenty-five seconds. Assuming we have an average of, just for sake of argument, we'll say 25 seconds per shake. How many shakes would it take us to get all zeros? 4,439 simulations. So multiplying that by 50, 4,439 times 50. It would take us that times 25 seconds so that's how many seconds it would take us divided by 60 to get minutes 
divided by 60 to get hours, divided by 24 to get days. So 64 days straight of spinning it, and in a 12 week semester, so let's divide that by 7. If we took only three weeks of our 12 weeks off to sleep or do other classes or work or eat, whatever, then we would squeak an A. But I would say no, I would not risk my grade on that. So four. So far, this has been what happens by chance. Is it possible to make any of these systems go to zero heads? I can't think of any. No, you can't. And the these systems going by these rules, you cannot make it go to zero heads. Because the only things I could think of is swapping out pennies that only have heads. Or magnetizing the pennies, but at that point you're changing the system. So under this system, you cannot make it go to zero heads. All you could do to make it go to zero heads is to just keep spinning, just keep rolling until you get a, you get zero heads. Five. Do your results in the two experiments described below support your analysis of the given data? I think they do. Six. Discuss whether or not your results in part two support the analysis from part one. The, so I, uh, yeah, they fit in pretty well. Ex like, this is the only thing, I got pretty lucky with this one, but that's just the, the nature of having less pennies, is there's a lot more entropy. Again, a lot less entropy. But once we got more pennies, we see that we're pretty much never getting a one in that are one in one million forty eight thousand five hundred and seventy six chance. It only took us four thousand four hundred and thirty nine times fifty rolls to get there. Let's see if we did get that by our million chance. Yeah, not so bad. In our one point however in our million chance we got it about a quarter of the way through. It's not bad. That is our pro that is my project. Thank you for sticking till the end.